This is Reflections at Capel Bay. Very rare unit which forms up less than 1% of the unit right here. My name is Mark Chan. Suddenly, we're going to do the ending line. <laughs> This has the full frontals, marina view as well as the Sentosa views. So stay tuned as we head on up to this very beautiful unit. Let's go. Now, if you're driving along the West Coast Highway right here along the Southern Waterfront region, you definitely have seen this six iconic towers standing right at the edge of the shoreline. And I think this was one of the masterpiece kind of a development done by master architect Daniel Lubinsky. Six very iconic tall sky towers with a combination of 11 villa blocks. And I think that's great because it caters to the various different kinds of lifestyle living that you enjoy. So if you want to have the bird's eye view standing at above level 25, overlooking this very beautiful view of the marina, I can see the yachts right here. Sentosa is in the backdrop right over there and not only that you are also overlooking the rest of Capel Lands project the new and upcoming reef at King's Dock followed by Corals as well as Caribbean and Capel Bay and last but not least this is the only development that has high-rise towers standing at 40 stories tall this sits on a 99 year lease that started from 2006 and the project was TOP in the year of 2013 unit breakdowns we have a good mix of one plus studies all the way to four bedroom plus study as well as some of the penthouses three bedders forming the majority of the unit there's a totality of 1129 unit, rolling land size standing at over 890,000 square feet. This is like a very mega kind of project, so you get to have lots of amenities. It consists of tennis courts, Olympic sized pools, gyms, and not only that, Reflections is also EV kind of ready project because you have car park lots with electric car charging lots as well. When you're looking at such mega projects, I think what you want to know is before you kickstart your search, perhaps you want to form sort of like a master checklist just to understand what are some of your preferences that you and your family prefer. For example, do you prefer low rise? kind of living or do you prefer kind of towering kind of living high rise secondly do you prefer a more regular kind of layout which is squarish in nature or do you prefer something that's a bit more avant-garde and has a bit more angular kind of features and also i think what's also important is that where do you want to be facing because if you're living at a greater southern waterfront region the views are definitely something that you want to have when you're living here and last but not least you prefer a columnless type of a layout so i think these are some of the key things that we'll be taking you through later as we run through this home tour So living at the Southern Waterfront region is actually very convenient because we're just about a 10 minutes walk down towards the Teloblanga MRT area which takes you one stop to Harbourfront Station which is the interchange for the, the North East Line and the Circle Line and that's also where you'll find Vivo City as well as Harbourfront Centre two stops down to Outram Park which is the interchange for the North East Line, East West Line as well as the future Thompson East Coast Line three stops down to Chinatown which is the interchange for North East Line and Downtown Line and five stops down to Dobie God which is the interchange station for the North East Line, North South line as well as the circle line. So even if you and your family are travelling by the public transportation nodes, I think this is also very very convenient, easily accessible to all parts of Singapore. And if you're driving, 10 minutes drive to the central business district of Singapore, 5 minutes on will lead you to the AYE. Now if we bring out this map, Reflections at Capel Bay is the only high-rise development that's at 40 storeys tall, tallest towers right here. The next high-rise development that's closest to us will be a Skyline Residence which stands at just 24 storeys tall. Now so you might be asking why is this important to know is because you you do get this very rarity kind of factor creating a scarcity effect even when you do want to exit in the near future because this is one of the only super high-rise kind of a development within the southern waterfront region as of today now coming back to this home i can't wait to show you around because this is simply a very well planned out kind of apartment because you have a very regular shaped layout you have the living and dining you have a dry kitchen slash a wet kitchen zone together with the yard and laundry zone three very good sized bedrooms two being en suite which is actually very rare and in fact your third common bedroom has its own third bathroom and for family living it's good to know you have also a storage room area
Now, once you enter into the living and dining room spaces, you'll notice that there's actually no uh, walkway spaces, which means do not get wasted kind of a space. Right now, because the unit is currently tenanted, but it's still very well maintained, they've put in mostly movable furniture. But just to give you a sense of the space, you can definitely put in all these storage cabinets located along the side wall over here. And leading on to the dining zone right here, you can comfortably put in and seat up to six to eight people. And when you enter into the living zone, there's this huge couch around here. And why do you want to put a couch on this side is because you can enjoy the same view overlooking towards the marina, Sentosa, as well as the sea views. Your entire living zone is fronted by these three large scale kind of window panels. That lets in a lot of natural daylight. You do not need to actually turn on your lights in the daytime. So we notice there are two kind of like cables dangling downwards because the cleaning guys helping you take care and clean the entire glass facade. So definitely you know that your 501 MCSD fees per month is well taken care of. And moving onwards, this of course in the tucked in the corner is your TV zone. Uh, you can do up a TV feature wall right here if you prefer as well. So in reflections, it's a little bit different in terms of their living and kitchen kind of layout. They love to have this dry kitchen pantry kind of set up so that when you have guests over, your family are hanging out watching TV, you can still actually interact with them. And this island is actually very solid. This countertop is in very good condition as well. So you do also have that sink area located right here. So it's very convenient. And if you're wondering where is the kitchen zone, so they always have this stowed away kitchen because that keeps your place neat and tidy. So once you open this zone, that gives you the pocket doors kind of a styling, meaning uh, when you want to do your cooking, this is how you open up your kitchen zone. And when it's not in use, you can simply hide it away to keep the place looking neat and tidy all the time. You have the melee hood and hop. So there's four induction zones. So on top of which, you also get these uh, very beautiful, I think these are like steel or aluminium drawers. They are soft closing as well. And you also have the built-in oven located in this zone and more storage cabinets on the top. So towards the tail end right here, of course, you have your laundry zone as well. Yeah. So your laundry zone is large enough to comfortably fit in a combo stack. So if you have a washer and dryer, I think this is that great. And moving on, you have the integrated fridge from Miller as well. Again, tucked away against the wall line so it doesn't jut out when you're walking around. You also have the dishwasher already integrated from Miller as well. So I think the kitchen zone is great. So in recent news for future upcoming development, The Straits Times wrote about a four-room BTO flat that will be built at the new Capital Club site. So in totality, there will be 6,000 HDBs that will be built right there, coupled with 3,000 private housing units, a total of 9,000 housing expected to fill the Capital Club land once the lease expires in December 31st of 2021 for the Capital Club. And the Greater Southern Waterfront, uh, which extends all the way from Pasir Panjang to the Marina East, will be transformed into a new major gateway and location for urban living along Singapore's southern coast and on top of that Pasir Panjang Terminal will also be moving out and in the near future a continuous waterfront promenade will also seamlessly connect various places of interest along the greater southern waterfront in future and along this corridor the new Pasir Panjang Linear Park will connect the West Coast Park to the Labrador Nature Reserve. In fact the first phase of Sentosa Brani Master Plan was announced back in 2019 so in the first phase the iconic 37 meters Merlion Tower will make way for a Sentosa Century Escape connecting Resort World Sentosa and the island's southern beaches, which is estimated to be a $90 million project. And what we'll be expecting then, the next few phases will focus on branding Sentosa as a lifestyle and commercial zone for tourism, as well as bring a lot more recreation to the area. So definitely, I think this is going to bring a lot of transformation to the place as well as future potential. So entering right now will mean that you are ahead of the pack before the eyeballs actually turn to this location when the transformation eventually takes place. So coming back to reflections, these six iconic towers range from a building height of 22 to 40 stories tall. Now zooming into these six towers, if you want to be above 25th stories, then that leaves you with just three of these towers to consider, namely 23, 29, as well as 33, which is the block that we're in today. So in general, reflections at Capel Bay has five different facing. We have the internal facing towards the facilities as well as towards the other block. We have the north and west facing towards Capel Club and the golf course uh, which is slated for redevelopment into residential dwellings and towards the southern direction you have the marina view as well as the sentosa facing that offers unblocked views almost in perpetuity and in the eastern side you have the facing towards the king's dock and queen's docks as well as the other developments like caribbean and corals
There are lots of varying different layout types even within the same stack. Just to give you a sense of some of the different types of layouts that you can expect. So at stack 85, that is a 3-bed, 2-bar configuration with varying sizes from 1,300 odd to 1,500 odd square feet. And what we notice is that you'll find columns in the master bedroom as well as the AC LED. At stack 97, uh, which is a 3-bed, 2-bar, standing at approximately 1,500 square feet, you also notice some of these columns that are found in the master bedroom as well as the common bedroom. And moving on towards stack 78, which is a 3-bed, 4-bath type of unit sized at over 1,700 odd square feet. We notice that there are also multiple pillars found in the bathrooms as well as the bedrooms. And at stack 86, which is also a 3-bed, 4-bath kind of unit with larger floor plates standing at 1,900 to 2,000 odd square feet, you see these columns also found in the common bedrooms as well as the living rooms. And at stack 95, which stands at over 2,100 square feet, a 3-bed, 4-bath, you do have that similar column also in the bathroom, uh, the bedroom as well as the balcony and living. So all these above layouts that we mentioned have more of an uh, irregular layout. However, if you prefer something that's a little more regular, a bit more squarish or rectangular kind of a layout, then perhaps be looking at some of these stacks. So at stack 87, which is sized at about 1,200 odd square feet, and at stack 96, which is the one that we're at today, this unit at 20 odd stories stands at 1421 square feet above level 25. And we have this dumbbell layout. Now these regular layouts are something very rare to find in reflection. So if we exclude the villa blocks and you're looking at just tower blocks and you want something with no columns and uh, you want a regular kind of layout with no angles, there are only namely six stacks. Those are at stack 72, 77, 82, 87, 91 and 96. And out of the total 97 stacks, there are only six of them which puts it at about the 6.18% having this regular layouts with no columns. And if you want to be also above level 25, then out of the six iconic towers, that will shave off half of the three towers, meaning you're only left with three options at block 23, 29 and 33. And if you add on a few more criteria right here, so that makes up just 0.7 of the units that actually fulfill these requirements right here. <music> And as we head on to the junior master, you do get this similar views as well. And the bedroom is also very well sized. Right now it's just used as guest room, but you can definitely put in minimally a queen size bed. Uh, if you still need kind of a dresser at a corner, that's also possible. And you have the full height four panel wardrobes already done in place as well. And the flooring here is very beautiful. This is not normal parquet, mind you. These are like thick and large width kind of a timber strips, very well maintained. And as you head on into the bathroom area, the bathrooms are all clad in full on marble. The shower and and faucets are all from Axel of Hans Grohe. That's the top of the line series of the Hans Grohe brand. So I think that's a very good and functional kind of junior ensuite bathroom. And as we move on towards the other side, the storage room is located right here. Very well sized to store all your suitcases and other belongings. As we enter into this common bedroom, full height built-in wardrobes tucked away in the corner. You still have space for a single or super single. Enough space as well to put in like bookshelves and study desk space also over in this corner. We're in the common bathroom here. Shower fittings again from Hans Grohe Exor series. You also find uh, rain showers in all the three bathrooms. Yeah. And your WC is from Duravit with a Gerberit flush system. So all top of the line kind of a fittings right here. And heading on to the master bedroom, your master definitely has the most beautiful view right here. You also have the broad walk or the linear park that actually lines the entire southern coast. You can bring your kids down cycling or if you're going for an evening jog as well. Uh, that's also possible. So the park connector takes you all the way to Labrador Park. And not only that, you also find many other different parks uh, located in the vicinity such as Hot Park, Telo Blanga Hill Park as well as Mount Faber Park as well. So the size-wise, master bedroom is definitely very spacious. You can put in like a queen or king size bed. Still a space for kind of this work from home. Imagine sitting here doing your work. You're overlooking into this very beautiful view. Corner right here, you have almost like a semi, a walk-in closet zone. If you like more wardrobe spaces, you can also extend your wardrobe spaces into this wall line as well and creating almost like a semi walk-in closet kind of area. And the master bathroom, very generous. You have a long bath, uh, you still have the separate standing shower zone. Shower fittings again from Exor of Hans Grohe. And the rest of the bathroom again we see are similarly finished. Very well maintained and very good sized as well.
So if you're looking for something along the southern waterfront, then perhaps you want to know what are some of the recent kind of price action movements. Now looking at the past transaction, especially Stack 96, it's extremely rare to find one that's actually listed on the market because if we look back towards 2018 all the way to 2022 right now, there have only been three units of Stack 96 that have transacted out of the hundreds of transactions. One of them was transacted in 2018, which was the penthouse unit. And in 2019, there was also one unit that transacted. 2020 had no transactions for Stack 96. And just last year, 2021, in October, the 14th floor unit was transacted at 3.05 million. So coming back to our unit, if we are listed at 3.18 million, that puts us at the price differential per level of just under $10,000. And if we look at the comparatives around this region, in terms of resale three bidders from the low rise development, such as Caribbean and Capital Bay, three bidders are going at about 2.24 million to 3.5 million. Corals at Capital Bay, three bidders are going at about 2.48 million to 3.95 million. If we move on to the three bidder new launches at the reef at King's Dock, there's only a remaining balance of under three units left. So the price there is listed at 2.81 million to 3.26 million. If you want this as a long-term kind of stay for your you and your family, or even if you're looking to exit in the near future, so we believe this unit definitely has its unique characteristics and plus points that will help to position yourself for a good exit in the near future. So you might be thinking, what are some of the amenities and reflections at Capo Bay? So if you're looking for a hawker fair, you can head on to Teluk Blanga Food Centre, the Siayin Food Centre, shopping malls just within minutes walk, you have Harbourfront Centre as well as Vivo City. So schools within the 2 kilometre radius, we have Blanga Rice Primary School, Radin Mas Primary as well as CHIJ Kellogg. And for secondary schools, you have CHIJ St. Teresa's Convent. <laughs> If you're looking to live in one of Singapore's iconic architectural masterpieces and you want to be amid the greater southern waterfront transformation, having these beautiful views every single day as you wake up and you want a unit size that is generous at over 1,400 odd square feet, you probably want to have a look at this place with our listings manager. The links are located right down below. So if you enjoyed Home Tours here with us at Property Living Brothers, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button and also hit on that notification bell so you'll be alerted to upcoming new Home Tours. We're also available on Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. My name is Mark Chan from Property Lim Brothers and as always, happy to show you the place. Take care. <laughs> if you enjoyed home tours here with us at Property Lim Brothers, do remember to hit the... Hit the... Uh, are these regular layouts then actually something very rare to actually... actually uh, my name is Mark Chan. Suddenly, for how to do the ending line. <laughs> okay. okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>